This is Jeff Sokol. He drove two and a half hours to bring a pepperoni pizza to someone he thought was a 13-year-old girl. Luckily, he met Chris Hansen instead. During the interview, he acted like he did nothing wrong and ate his pizza in a cavalier fashion. How does one eat a pizza or anything in that situation? My guess is this pizza has to be exceptional. And what's with that pill? Who are you? I will get to that in a minute. The pizza that Jeff Sokol brought to the Sting is actually a New York style pizza, which is thick and crisp on the edge, yet soft, thin, and pliable enough to be folded in half, as Jeff demonstrated for Chris Hansen. The next question is, where did Jeff Sokol get this pizza? What does it matter? Jeff picked up his pie from a place called Planet Pizza, which was started by co-founders Joe, Mike, and Frank Rocco. They grew up as the children of Italian immigrants in the 1970s. The Rocco brothers also worked in their family's pizzeria in the Bronx. Uh, I, I want to know who you are. And now that we know the type of pizza Jeff Sokol brought to the Sting House, and where he got the pizza, it's time for Chef Tango and I to recreate the pizza and raise it to the gold shoe standard. You ready? We begin with one and a quarter cups of warm water. Between 100 and 110 degrees is preferred. Next, go ahead and add one tablespoon of honey. Explain. That's because we're going to add half a teaspoon of active dry yeast. And everyone knows that active dry yeast loves to taste honey. This process is called blooming. It usually takes about five minutes. It's the right thing to do, and it should be applauded. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. Next, we're going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. And of course, we're going to make our pizza salty and dangerous with half a tablespoon of salt. Yeah, you can clearly, you can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about. A little bit of salt won't kill the yeast. Go ahead and mix this together in a cavalier fashion. <laughs> Let's see if any of this sounds familiar while you enjoy your pizza. Planet Pizza uses flour milled from the finest Kansas spring wheat and a Hobart mixer, whatever that is. The closest thing I could find in my grocery store was this bread flour. Go ahead and add three and a quarter cups to a large bowl. To be honest with you, like I said, no. All you need is two hands in a bowl for the next step. But if you've got a KitchenAid mixer, I recommend using that. But first, let's make the white staff come out in the form of our yeast mixture. Set your KitchenAid to the medium setting and let it mix the dough in a cavalier fashion. Do this for about five to 10 minutes. You'll know you're done when you can take your dough and stretch it and it doesn't break. Here's a close up so you can get a better look at it. Afterwards, we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and put it on our dough. I would also put some around the bowl as well. Let's do with this whole contract thing because I'm just gonna be thinking about it the whole time. In my first Jeff Sokol video, I joked about covering the dough with a damp marriage contract, which was actually just damp paper towels. I did not like how the top of the dough dried out. No. So this time, Plastic wrap is my superpower. Now that the dough has doubled in size, lightly flour the countertop, cover the dough, and then cut it in half. This will make two 12 inch pizzas if divided evenly. Do you think pizza size matters? 12 inches isn't that big, but it knows how to satisfy a hunger. I mean, that's what it, it sounds like. Next, we're going to start folding our little dough balls left and right. 100% folding it in until it's been done about eight times. Grab a couple glass bowls and lightly coat them with olive oil. Now we're going to add our balls of dough to our bowls. Make sure you do this seam side down. Afterwards, cover with more plastic wrap. And as Anthony Palumbo would say, put it in the refrigerator. Let's this is known as the cold fermentation stage. That's the reason. I've been told this is how you get those little bubbles in your pizza dough. 
leave your dough in the refrigerator for a minimum of 12 hours. And it can be stored up to a week. In fact, dinner is delayed. Next, it's time to adjust the pizza sauce. Planet Pizza Sauce is made from ripe California tomatoes, picked in late August and early September, and fresh packed with fragrant basil. And supposedly, Conadita tomatoes are from California. I'm not really sure, but we have to work with what we got. We begin by draining our tomatoes. Next, it's time to add them to the blender. This is obviously where they're going to be blended until they have a smooth texture. What's that? I have no idea. Next, add half a teaspoon of generic white sugar, a tablespoon of olive oil, along with a tablespoon of dried oregano and dried basil, along with a couple tablespoons of tomato paste, and finally a tablespoon of garlic paste. And afterwards, mix this together in a cavalier fashion. You'll also notice that I didn't cook the pizza sauce. I've been told a no-cooked sauce will actually taste better. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do, or if it should even be applauded, but we're going to find out. To be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but I don't, I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're like, you know, law enforcement, but... Preheat the oven to 550 degrees. Next, it's time to form our dough. You'll notice that one is bigger than the other. The, um, the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one, so. With that in mind, we will use the large one. I do not know how to toss pizza dough in the air. Instead, we'll push the dough out with our fingertips and roll the dough over our knuckles. James, please tell me who you are. I'll tell you. Next, it's time to coat my pizza pan with some cornmeal. That's where putting the pizza dough on the pan comes in. How often do you do this sort of thing? <laughs> Never done it. Planet Pizza uses 100% whole milk Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. That's aged a minimum of 28 days. With that being said, you're probably wondering why I bought string cheese. But tonight, he apparently has a different kind of topping in mind. I could not find any WMLM, whole milk, low moisture. This is what is used on New York style pizza. I could have used the pre-shredded stuff, but the anti-caking powder could cause the cheese to burn in a cavalier fashion. So string cheese it is. I begin by shredding the string cheese. Afterwards, I cut into some small pieces. I ended up with what I think is 12 ounces of shredded cheese. Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like a, like a dishonest, dirty person? Yes! Yes! Next, the sauce goes on, smoothing it out in a cavalier fashion. We're going to add some freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm not sure if Planet Pizza does this step, but it's the right thing to do and it should still be applauded. James, please tell me who you are. I'll tell you. Now for the mozzarella. Start on the edge and work your way to the middle. We want this to be as even as possible. And finally, our pepperonis. It wouldn't be the Jeff Silco pizza without it. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. This pizza should take five to seven minutes, but don't leave it unattended. I can't believe this happened. Well, Jeff, believe it. Because it's time to put this pizza on a cooling rack. I noticed that before he ate the pizza, he took a mysterious pill. Let me know in the comment room if you think it was Cialis or Cholestermine. It's a question. I think the pizza's cooled down enough now. I think it's time for the best part. I'm Chris Hansen, and this is an investigation called Hansen vs. Predator.
And as you can see, I got the right consistency all around from the dough, the cheese and the sauce. But how does it taste? Sokol probably should have brought napkins. And thank you for hanging out with me for the rare, semi-serious video from me. Let me know in the comment room if you want to see more of these in the near future. And remember, don't forget to delete your archives. Bye, sweethearts!